So hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about the counseling of Amrita University. I'm going to talk about the expected cutoff for round 2 and round 3. I'm going to talk about the refund process and all the refund doubt that you all are having. I'm going to talk about how much fees you have to give if you want to take admission or if you want to slide. And I'm going to clarify all the doubt about the sliding process and also about that if you have selected your preferences, can you change it or not and what will you do if you didn't get any of the branch in the first round of the counseling so i'll clarify every doubt of yours so if you have any of questions among these things then you came to the right video just stick till the end of this video and i'm going to solve every of your doubt and now without any further ado let's get started So Amrita Vishwa with the PTAM or Amrita University. It has an NIF ranking of 20 and NIF grade A. And if you want to know about the detailed analysis of this college, I have made a video on that in iLink. Just go and see that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the expected cutoff for round 2 and round 3, which is going to be after a few minutes. Okay. But at first, I'll just clarify your simple, simple doubts that you are all having. So, okay. The first one is that if you got any seat, if you want to just go to the round 2, or if you want to take admission, payment of 1 lakh is compulsory. Okay, you have to pay 1 lakh rupees. It is must. And if you didn't get any seat, then you do not have to pay 1 lakh. Okay, you just proceed further for the next round. Okay, and 1 lakh will be also refunded fully if you have paid at the end of the counseling. After the ending of the third round, they will start giving the money, refunding the money. So don't worry about it. And yeah. If you have selected your preferences and in first round if you got the seat in any of the branches then you can't change that preference but if you didn't got any branches then you can change it so yeah it is good if you didn't got any branches because if, after seeing this video now you really want to change your preference because I'm going to tell the expected cutoff for round 2 and round 3 okay and at last if you got any seat till the finishing of the counseling then the 5k registration will not be refunded but if you didn't get any seat until the end of the counseling then the full 5000 registration fee will be refunded to you okay and that will also happen after the ending of the admission procedure of this college okay so you have to wait for it so yeah these are the common doubts that you all are having now let's go to the expected cutoff so for first I'm going to talk about the main campus, the Coimbatore campus for round 2 and round 3. Okay. So at first I would like to tell you why the cutoff will get decreased. Many of the college admissions, MIT, BIT and SRM and all are happening. And those students who didn't got admitted in round 1, they will just uh, leave this and go to them. And JE mains is also happening. The results are also going to come out. If anyone got good marks in NIT and many will just to go for the J advance so yeah the cutoff will be decreased for sure it will happen every year okay and also some students will get a CSC and a CSA specialization but not a good slab it will they get the slab 4 or a slab 3 they also just leave this branch because for some students the fees is also the issues in a slab 4 a slab 3 the fees is very very high so by the reason of this all things the cutoff will going to be decreased. It happens every year. So yeah, it will happen this year too. Okay. So now without any further ado, let's see what are the cutoff marks, cutoff ranking. Okay, cutoff ranking. So for the program computer science, for other state students, the ranking is 250 to 850. 850 is the ranking for round three. For round two, it is going to be around 250 to 500. It is like that. So yeah. 850 the last thing that I am showing here is for the round 3 ending of the counseling okay and the first thing is for this round 2 okay and for home estate it is going for 4k to 8k easily and for CSE specializations 400 to 1.5k is the other state rank and for home estate is 7k to 11k for electronics and computer engineering it is 1.2k to 3k for the other state and for home estate it is 10k to 16k for electronics and communication engineering it is 650 to 2.5k and for home estate it is 9k to 13k and for triple e it is 3000 to 6000 and for home estate is 13000 to 18000 
and also for mechanical engineering it is 4.5 thousand to 9 thousand and for home estate it is 15 thousand to 25 thousand so these data are really expected data only this is not a fixed data okay so you can just get an idea from this so yeah this is the expected cutoff for round two and round three so if you didn't get now nah, till round one don't worry you will get it and i just really really wish that you didn't got any any seat in round one because if you didn't get now nah, you have chance to change your preferences according to this cutoff i am giving the idea for you all you must apply it in changing the preferences okay if you want really anything you have to be sure that what are you putting in the first day preference what are you putting in the second preference what are you putting in the third preference so yeah you must see this video and just uh, take your preference according to the idea that i am giving you okay so now let's talk about the second campus the bangalore campus and you can see the home estate data in the right side and other state data in the left side i'm going to talk about other state data only you can see the home estate data okay if you are from home estate so let's see for computer science you have to be in the 400 to 1000 rank gap and 1000 rank is for round three don't get, say me in the comment after this second round that yeah we yeah, are uh, i didn't got um, computer science in bangalore campus in 1000 rank you told me so this is for round three and 400 to 1000 this is the band gap for round 2 and round 3 what I am seeing you must understand this so for computer science it is 400 to 1000 for computer science specializations it is 800 to 1.8 K and for electronics and com computer engineering it is 3.5 thousand to 6 thousand for EC it is 2.2 K to 3.8 K and for triple E it is 5 K to 8 K and for mechanical engineering it is 8 K to 12 K if you want to see all other home estate data just pause the video and see clearly okay so now let's talk about the third branch the amrita puri campus okay so in this the cse cutoff is going to be like 500 to 1.2k for other states i'm going to talk about other states only home estate is in the side of that you can see this and for computer science specialization it is 800 to 1.8k for electric and comp computer engineering it is 4k to 6.5k for ec it is 2k to 3.5k for triple it is 5k to 8k and for mechanical engineering it is 7k to 11k okay a k means thousand i know that you all know that <laughs> and at the last the last campus that is chennai campus and this is the campus that uh, i really don't recommend you if you are getting computer science you can go but uh, not for any other branches i will not recommend you okay so for computer science for other state rank it is 2.1.2k uh, to 3k and uh, computer science specialization it is 3k to 6k for electronics and computer engineering it is 3.5k to 6k for EC it is 5k to 9.5k, for triple it is 10k to 14k and for mechanical engineering it is 14k to 20k. For home estate rent it is written in the sideways you can see it I am saying again and again I don't know why. So yeah these are the four campus cutoff rank for round 2 and round 3. Okay if you didn't got any seat in round 1 you have a chance to change your preferences according to this rank okay just remember the left side ranking is for uh, the round two and the right side ranking is the ending of round three so you must know that okay this is the band of 1.2k to 3k for computer science for round two to round three if you have any confusion uh, at first if you have any confusion just watch this video again and after watching again if you again have confusion then you comment down okay and if you want any help from me just come to my instagram instagram link is in my description on also in the comment section you can come and i will surely help you all and if you got any help from this video then please 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 like the video i am really working hard for you all <laughs> i'm just collecting the data for analyzing the cutoff rank for you all from last week and now i got to this conclusion so yeah if you really really appreciate my effort then please Go and like and subscribe to my channel i it will be very very motivational for me i really got motivated to help you all more and more if you subscribe to my channel so yeah if you have any help then please like the video share this video with your friends share in every group you want to have share with any friend 
who is taking admission in Amrita University say it with uh, anyone okay so yeah this is all about this video if you have any other doubts come to my Instagram and uh, yeah let's say bye bye and uh, take care of yours and uh, be confident there are more exams are coming try J mains and all and if you want a review on any college or any counseling just comment down I'm surely gonna reply you all so until then bye bye